The following video has been Fat Boy approved. These are the shill free opinions of Fat Boy. Every product reviewed is bought and paid for by Fat Boy. Yeah, yeah. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy. Welcome in the Fat Boy Fergus Reviews, and I hope you're having a great day because you know who I am. I am the bringer of joy, the bringer of fragrances, the do a kang. Look at this collection. Come on. And of course, you know who I am. Like I said, I'm Mr. Fat Boy. Got a little off track there. Sorry about that. No way. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you are new to this channel, hit the like and subscribe, baby. We're so close. Help me get there. We're trying to get to the road to 5K. If we get there before the end of the month, 5,000 subscribers. What a milestone for this channel who's kept it real, shield free, and always done it my way, not trying to make it some glossy, perfect thing, but kept it real for you guys since the jump. And I wanna give you guys every opportunity to enjoy this channel and get the content the way I see it should be delivered, fun, factual, but also with a lot of energy. So hit the like and subscribe. Make sure you leave a comment to be entered in the video. Leave the words 5K in there too and you're automatically entered. Details for the contest, are below all right if you want to sample most of my doers which is a huge collection go on over to fatboyfragrance.com fatboyfragrance.com where the customer is always right all right let's go these are my best do originals this year for winter and you know how we do it no edits no do-overs one take and one take and i always get it right that boy fragrance review starts now <laughs> back these are 15 do originals that i think are great to wear in the winter this list has changed over the years but this is this year's list so let's go ahead and get all in it no particular order no uh honorable mentions 15 solid do originals to start with the first one it's an oud fragrance because you gotta have some oud to show some love to my oud peeps and that is dua's mr dua definitely all oud but an oud that I will say is a tolerable oud. A wearable oud. Definitely wearable. Got enough of a rose vibe in there to kind of loosen it up. This is a solid, fresh, rosy oud. I think people will like this. Kind of a more of an oudy version of Tom Ford's Oud Noir. I mean, uh, Oud Wood. So it's a really well done fragrance. It's number 15. And the first one on the list here. And that is uh, Mr. Dua. Next one up. We don't even need to number them because in reality they're not they're not done in order. Next one up is from the Afik line. It's called Mysterious Mysterious. This one I like because it has a petrol vibe, similar to say something like your Fahrenheit. And this thing is beast. There's a nice citrus orange undertone to this to go with that petrol vibe, and it gives a nice little woody oud vibe too. This thing is so slept on that nobody talks about this one or the other one. Hard to believe that this didn't take off. These are amazing. That is, from the Afik line, Mysterious. All right, so next up, I'm trying to put them back to make sure I leave room to work here, so bear with me. Put it right here for now. Right, next one up. It's one of my absolute favorites. It makes my list every year. Grapefruit Cognac. You're going to see a lot of boozy on here because that's what I like to wear in the winter, boozy fragrances. Grapefruit Cognac is a perfect blend, oh my God, of grapefruit and that boozy Cognac that they use so well. Whatever that extract is that they use, they do it so well with this one. Grapefruit Cognac is a stunner. Beautiful fragrance. Love it. Have to check it out. Even though, I don't know if it's the original formulation, it still hits and it still works. All right, this is a new release that I plan to do a review on. I already shot it, just got to get it released. And I was stunned after my first impressions. I wasn't really impressed. But after I wore it, I got really to liking it. And it's liquor, chocolate, and vanilla. This one is hard to get. Not available, but you can sample it at fatboyfragrance.com. 
it caught me off guard when, it, when I resprayed it the next day. I was like, man, this was not that bad. I get the reason why it kind of came off a little off because the boozy quality in there. But boozy chocolate and vanilla works. And that is that one right there. It is called liquor, chocolate, and vanilla. All right. Next one up is a classic from Duo. And I got to get more of it. And it is called Intimacy. Oh, damn, this one knock. It reminds me a little of, bit of Nasamanto's Boranda. That's the vibe I get from it. I am almost out of it, too. Oh, I love this one. This one is so beautiful, so gorgeous. Classic Dua. Great job. Metal Plaque OG. Love Intimacy. Next one up is a tobacco fragrance that I killed and knocked out of the park. There's two I like, and I don't have any more of the other one. It's called Cola Tobacco. So what I decided to go with was, was Gently Tobacco. Another Dua original, and it's a solid Dua uh, a tobacco fragrance. Oh yeah, that's a great fragrance, man. This thing knocks, it, it's not your normal tobacco, kind of like Mancera Red Tobacco or Sahara Tobacco. It's different, it's light, it's airy, it works. It's good for office situations and great for the winter. Gently Tobacco. Next up is we have Coffee and Irish Whiskey. This one knocks. It knocks, it hits, it is. A great one to wear. Oh, it is just boozy on top of booze. Coffee and Irish Whiskey is one of my absolute favorite boozy fragrances that do has come out with and lately. I love this one. It just hits all the right spots. It has that kind of like wear a gourmand vibe, but also something I could wear in a colder months. Cozy, warm, kind of inviting fragrance in this Irish Coffee Whiskey. All right. Blueberry Brandy. Don't sleep on this one. The blueberry's done so well. Like I said, when they mix those, I don't have a cap on this one. We should go with it, believe me. No edits, baby. Blueberry Brandy, phenomenal. It's, it's got the great note of blueberry, but it also packs a punch. The brandy also, the extract they're using that, is phenomenal. It works, it, it stands out in the opening, stands out in the mid. The, the boozy note in this one's one of the best boozy notes you ever tried. Blueberry Brandy. Next up, one of those more expensive fragrances, the $150 fragrances, and it's Fougere de Agar. I don't remember if this is a clone or not. I can't remember. I don't think it is. I put it on this list because I thought it wasn't. I didn't really look it up. But this is my favorite Fougere fragrance that I have in my collection right now. I love this thing. Oh my God, that thing just knocks. Just knocks, baby. And I love this one. Of all those $150 ones, this is my favorite. I don't sell any more of it, unfortunately, but I love it. All right, next up. Sweet Woody Realm. This one is the sneaker sleeper hit of the year. Just like Jasmine Charm, Chocolate Jasmine Charm, this one is so slept on. So slept on. You think it's just like a woody kind of like sweet woody fragrance, but the, the citrus in there is really well done. It has enough of a lightness that you can wear it in a fall and winter, and maybe in the spring. This thing is beautiful, sweet, woody realm. I absolutely love this Duo Original. Next up, we have Plum Brandy. This is my favorite brandy one of all. I'm a huge plum fan when done right. This has a little bit of spice. Oh, we lost a lid on that one. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off this one right here, and we'll keep this thing going. And we'll spray it on there. Hey, you're going to contaminate. It won't contaminate that bad. Once you spray it a couple times, it's gone. Here we go. No edits, baby. Oh, God. Plum Brandy just knocks the park. Knocks it out of the park. This is one of the few that I wear a lot, along with Grapefruit Brandy and Blueberry. But this is my favorite brandy one they make. Absolutely stunning. Plum Brandy, excuse me, is the best plum fragrance that I get from doing any original. Probably top five best plum fragrances in my collection, period. I love this fragrance, Plum Brandy. A couple left here. We have about four left. Next one up is White Hot Chocolate Cacao. To give you guys a little bit more of a kind of a gourmand kind of vibe, this is for the ladies right here. It's the great fragrance, ladies. Oh, beautiful chocolate, not overdone, not bitter, perfectly done. A great fragrance for the fall. Definitely guys gonna like the way you smell on this one. It's a nice sweet gourmand fragrance. I love it. Next up is World of Santal. 
Another solid one that gets slept on a lot. This one has a beautiful uh, Santal note. Oh yeah, I love this one. This one is fresh, clean, but also wearable in the winter. Love it, World of Santal. Two left. Tres Leches. Don't sleep on my favorite, one of my favorites, Tres Leches. Oh man, I love Tres Leches. Oh yeah, it's got this beautiful, milky kind of cake vibe that I absolutely just die for when I smell it. Tres Leches, amazing fragrance with a little hint of strawberry in there too. Last but not least, my ultimate favorite fragrance to wear from Dua in the winter. My fourth bottle of this thing, La Cosa Nostra. My favorite, period, of all these. This is my go-to for the winter. I don't care what anybody says. Oh my God, it's so good. It's hard to explain. It's almost like a burnt caramel sugary bubblegum vibe. It just works. It's amazing. I love it. La Cosa Nostra. So there are 15 Dua Originals. There's you a list. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all stay safe, y'all stay well, and if you smell good and you feel good, then baby, it's gonna be all good. Fat Boy Fragrance Reviews is 